Now, your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. Well, we do have a very slight chance of some rain moving in after midnight. What is the weekend looking like? And we've seen some below normal temperatures this week. Are we going to see a warm up as we're heading into next week? That is the question. But for today, we did see a lot of sunshine, mostly sunny to partly sunny skies. Those clouds are rolling in from the west because of a storm system that's pushing down from the northern plains. A little bit of activity trying to make it into Sullivan County right now. It's really weakening as it continues to push eastward, but we do still do have a slight chance for some rain and isolated thunderstorms again after midnight. Right now, though, 81 degrees at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Very light winds out of the east at around 6 miles per hour. And Ottumwa, a lot of sunshine, 81 degrees. Pretty comfortable out there. Winds are out of the east, uh, southeast at around 6 miles per hour. So again, here's the future cast. That storm system, most of the activity should stay well to the north into northern portions and central portions of Iowa. However, we do see a little bit of activity that possibly could be moving in as we're heading into about 2 to 5 to 6 in the morning, especially over southeast Iowa. It's about a 20% chance, so again, uh, it's a very slight chance. A better chance for that rain will be pushing in uh, Saturday morning, anytime after 8 in the morning. In fact, this is around 10 in the morning, continuing to push in from the northwest into southeast Iowa. So Centerville uh, and Albia will get a little bit beforehand and then continuing as we're heading into the afternoon as as well as into the late evening and overnight hours on Saturday night. Over the next 12 hours, those temperatures actually near normal as we're heading into tonight and into tomorrow. 69 degrees and partly cloudy skies at 1. By 7 a.m. on your Friday morning, 68 degrees and partly sunny skies. So breaking it down for tonight, about a 20% chance of light rain uh, moving in after midnight. 66 degrees as your overnight low. Otherwise, we'll see partly cloudy skies and southeast winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour. For your Friday, actually partly sunny and near normal temperatures around 86 degrees with southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. So again, we've seen those below normal temperatures this week. Are we going to be warming up next week? Well, the Climate Prediction Center for next week, August 9th through the 13th, actually has our temperatures in near normal, uh, so which is good. It's not too hot and we're not below normal. What about the precipitation? Well, we do have a near normal uh, expected for the precipitation for August 9th through the 13th as well. The extended five-day forecast, uh, 83 degrees on Saturday, 84 on Sunday. And again, we do have a chance for those showers and thunderstorms. Monday and Tuesday will dry out. And and here comes the below normal temperatures once again. 83 on Monday, Tuesday, sunny and 81 and then overnight lows into the 60s. And be sure to check out our updated KTVO News mobile app. It's available now for your Android and your iPhone devices. Uh, so again, near normal temperatures for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We'll start things out on the weekend pretty decent, or yeah. at least on Friday. <laughs> Saturday, though, we've got a chance for those showers and thunderstorms. Uh -huh. Right now, no severe weather is expected, okay. some stronger thunderstorms. Chris will definitely keep an eye on that as we're heading, as we're getting into tomorrow. Yeah, you could work on your timing a little bit. There, I know. It, it always comes on the weekend, <laughs> does. doesn't it? Well, last weekend we couldn't complain, so I guess, but you can work on that maybe before tomorrow. I'll try. Tomorrow. I will Thank try. Thank you, Teresa. Yes. We'll be right back.